Hello everyone and welcome back to our survival series reboot. We're in part four and in this episode we're going to be taking on the job of creating our swinging animation with some axes and pickaxe tools. So let's get started. Okay, so to begin with, go to the description box below and you'll find a link where you can download an axe animation from Mixmo that I've retargeted already over to the UE4 mannequin. When you've done that, um, you want to go to import in your axe attack and click OK. It's going to ask you to choose what skeleton you want to map it to. You're going to choose it to the arms skeleton and then click import. That will come in with the animation, hopefully, all working OK. Open it up, and there you go. So one of the first things you'll notice about this animation is that it's actually facing the wrong way. If you look at any other animations we have for our first-person character, you can see this character is facing the negative X direction, but idle here is facing in the Y direction. So we need to rotate it around. Now to do that, you can go to your animation, go to Asset Details, scroll down to find Import Settings. Underneath there, you'll find Transform. You'll see Import Translation, Import Rotation, and Import Uniform Size. We want to do Import Rotation, and we'll go to the Z, which is the third value here, <clears throat> and do minus 90. With that done, go up top and click on Re-Import Animation. You'll now see he's facing the same way as his other animations. So now we're going to make a montage of this animation itself. So we're going to go create asset and then montage and we'll put my animations folder and we'll call it X attack montage. Open it up. Okay. And in here, drag in our X attack. Now being the fact that we're using the default set up for first person character and first person template. I'm going to change the default slot here from slot name to arms. Save and we're done. So on my first person character, I'm going to set up a little test for this. I'm going to do the white mouse button now and just go into my first person mesh to play montage. And we'll choose our axe attack there. Compile and save. Okay, so let's go test that out and push play. Right, right mouse button, I swing. Okay. All we need to do is put a weapon in his hands for this to work. Now the weapons are going to be extra classes that we're going to have. So let's make another folder here for our tools and weapons. And in there, I have a blueprint class, actor. And I'm going to call this one tool. And then make a child of that called um, tool axe. Okay, and you're going to go in my tool axe. And we're going to add some visual element here for the static mesh of this axe here. Okay, so we're going to need to find an axe model. So let's go into Quick Tool Bridge and see what we've got available to us. Um, and you can see here we've got some axes, pickaxes, which is great. So I'm going to use this axe here. And I'm going to click download and wait for that to download. When that has finished downloading, I'll add it to my project and we'll go from there. And then I'm going to add. And there it is. So we're going to use this inside of our tool class, tool axe. Drag that across in. Okay, so the actual positioning of this does matter because we want to make sure that the player is holding this in the correct manner. So, all your tools you need to make sure are orientated the correct way. Um, so, what I'm going to do is make mine all by default angle this way and this way. Okay, so we're going to be upright like this. Now, the root of it needs to be where the hand is going to go. So, I'm going to Make that a little bit longer there. Okay, the root is very important because that's where the hand socket is going to be attached to. So make sure that is set up like so. I'm also going to turn off all the collision on this thing because collisions can be handled some by something else. 
So I'm going to go to collision and take to have no collision. I'm going to save that and we're done there. Let's go to our player character and we're going to go to our first person mesh. With it selected, go to add component and add a child actor. And in our child actor here, we're going to, on the right hand side, select which class we want to use. And we're going to use our tool axe. Meanwhile, I'm going to go into the viewport and we should see the axe now appear. Excellent. I just need to make sure I attach it to the hands properly. So the hands I attach to by going to the parent socket, clicking on here, and finding the grip point. This is a default one part of this skeleton. If you're using your own skeleton, you'll need to make a socket up for that. I'll attach that there. Now, when you do that, you may find your axe goes elsewhere. That's fine. What you can do is right hand side, go to location and rotation, and set those back to zero, zero. Okay, so our axe is there. We need to just offset it a little bit. So I'm just going to bring that across there, rotate it around there, and do a little bit more rotation there. Okay, hit compile and save that. So as I'm running around, I should see an axe in my hand. If I right click, I swing my axe. Now I'm going to do that for other ones as well. We'll do a pickaxe too. So I'm going to go back to a quick bridge. Get the pickaxe. And click download. Wait for it to download. And when it's finished, add, add the files to our project here. So now I'm just going to do the exact same thing, but this time I'm going to make a tool pickaxe. So I'm going to right click on tool, create child, tool, pickaxe. Open it up and I'm going to add this as a static mesh for our thing here. As you can see, it's already upright, which is why I wanted to do a style. So 90 degrees facing that way. And again, putting it where I want the hand to actually be. File and save. So now I need to see how this looks inside the hands without changing the socket. Because I don't want to be keep changing the location or rotation of this thing. I want to keep that the same for all of them. So I just need to swap these out and hopefully make it look okay. If it doesn't, then I'll just do sort of offsets on the local actor itself. There's my pickaxe there. So the positioning of the hand is pretty good, but the rotation you can see is a little bit off. So what I'm going to do is rotate it in my tool pickaxe here. Do account for that. I'll go back to my player character now. We've got a pickaxe looking better. And I can also do some slight angling on it, maybe. Let's try that. See what that looks like. That's not too bad. Obviously, his hands are positioned like a gun, but that's fine. Uh, we're not worried about that for now. Just want to see that weapon in the hand, like so. Excellent. Okay. And there we go. We've now got our weapon set up. Uh, we now need to make these attack things yeah, in the next episode. There we go. We've now got our axes and pickaxes in the game. However, they don't actually do anything. So in the next episode, we're going to make them do damage to different nodes to collect resources. Watch the next episode right now over on patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley. We can catch all my videos early before everyone else from just $1 a month. Massive thank you to all my patrons and YouTube members for their continued support. I wouldn't be doing this with you guys, so thank you again so, so much. Make sure you subscribed, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.